in September 2015 when he came uh, to Fiji and, you know, he sort of laid out his mission. Um, he told me, you know, um, to relocate from Australia to Fiji and, his, and in his words he said, we have lived in this country, we have used the water, we have used the air, everyone takes away everything from this country, nobody gives back, it's time to give back to this country. So he told me to finish my education in Australia and move back to Fiji. Uh, and he told me that there were many plans that we will have a medical center, we'll have a hospital, and that there would be a lot happening in the medical space in Fiji. Um, personally, you know, I, when he told me that, I said, I'll do whatever you say. And, and I didn't think back about it at all. But when I went back to Australia, I realized, I sort of realized what I, what I had said because Earlier on, I left Fiji and I thought I was moving to greener pastures, more better education, a more sort of uh, a developed country to live in. Um, but, you know, he, he told me to do something and I, I realized I promised him and, and it didn't matter what else was happening. I told my mind, I, I don't have to think with my mind. He's commanded me to do this and I'll do it. So, so I came back to Fiji and I have no regrets. I am so eternally grateful to him for bringing me back here because I now realize and understand what it is like to, to give back to this country. It's, you know, when you work in the medical space here, you sort of realize the challenges that you have. Um, you know, lack of equipment, lack of medications. There's, there's issues with training as well. And I feel that by coming back, I'm able to contribute to so much more um, in terms of my training, I'm a general practitioner, I'm not a surgeon, I'm not a cardiologist, but he has given me this responsibility and I'm so grateful to him to, 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 give, to put his trust in me and I, I pray that he keeps me as his instrument and I pray that we all continue to work together to make sure that this hospital flourishes and really serves the purpose that it, it, it's meant to because... I mean, these poor children, you know, when we talk to their parents, when you talk to the families, you know, you, you, you feel so sad. You, you cannot but hold back tears because they have no means to go overseas. We don't have any local teams. And, and as, as Swami says, you know, a hospital is a building, but really what makes it a hospital is also the people that work in it. And for us, we certainly want to make sure that we do all that we can to follow his teachings and also for our staff to understand that this is not a, a commercial hospital. This is a hospital where the only commodity that, that matters is love and, and that each and every patient, each and every child is, is really treated with utmost care and respect.